Alright, so I'm a little bit sick right now, so I kind of sound like garbage. Apologize. But I still want to do something today. Maybe it'll help kind of clear my throat if I get some, some air moving. So uh, I guess the best way to kind of fix my throat is by, with a bunch of spray paint. <laughs> I'm sure a, a doctor would definitely advise that for sure. <coughs> so about four months ago, we brought the Miata over. My dad actually trailered it with a U-Haul trailer, which was super nice. But one issue is that the car couldn't actually get up onto the trailer with the front lift. Oh, it's so bright. Oh my god. So the front lip is off, and right now it's kind of this like black, like plain plastic color. Um, I'm actually going to try to color match it to the car. So I ordered a can of, I guess, similar paint to my car off of Amazon, as well as clear coat, and I got some primer from Home Depot, so I guess we're just gonna figure out as we go. Now, I've never painted anything at all, so this will be completely new, and I, it literally took me like five minutes in Home Depot to realize that uh, primer is base coat. I didn't know that. It's just another name for it, so. This is going to be a shit show. So here is the front lip. It is a little bit kind of, I wouldn't say in bad shape, but you know, there's definitely rub marks and, and some, if you look like under, I'm sure that there's probably just some scraping. Yeah, there's, there's some scraping there, but for the most part, it looks fine. So I have it set up outside. I'm assuming that's fine. I have no idea. Um, hopefully I don't overspray and like hits the wall or anything like that. Probably gonna move my Volkswagen out of the way just in case. I don't want to ruin that paint. Yeah, so I guess step one, I'm going to clean this up and then sand it and then prime it, I guess. Guys, I gotta be honest, I'm just kind of guessing here. <laughs> I'm, I mean, like, you know what? Okay, I, I'm gonna look up a DIY and hopefully kind of learn a bit that way, but I'm just having fun. So I should also note that the reason why I'm being so kind of careless with this is that I was probably just going to ditch this front lip anyway. I'm selling the car either this uh, this fall or next spring, so I don't necessarily like, I don't need this. This is just something that like, hey, I went to Home Depot, spent five bucks on some primer, spent $10 on some paint. I'm just gonna see it. I'm just gonna see how it looks, see how I do, and uh, yeah, go from there. And uh, yeah, so step one, I think I'm just going to sand it, and then clean it, then prime it, then paint it, then clear coat. I think that's how it works. Okay, so here is the paint rig set up. <laughs> it's so janky. Um, but the lip is cleaned off. I used some isopropic alcohol. So it's cleaned up, it's smooth, and uh, yeah, ready to paint, I guess. <laughs> okay, first coat is done. Super uneven, but you know, it's first coat. All right, so the last base coat is now done. It looks fairly even. Um, I think I did an okay job. I'm going to probably sand down a couple areas. Like you can see, um, you can see that there's a little bit of like overspray there, like dripping. I put it on too heavy. Um, I think I'll just be able to sand that away. Alright, so second coat is done. 
looks honestly like pretty good. There's a couple spots where I overdid it a little bit. I, you're not really going to be able to see it on camera. Another issue that I kind of had was, um, you know, maybe this was because I didn't sand it properly, but you can kind of almost see like little holes. So, <laughs> still sick. Um, next up is a clear coat. I'm going to do, I believe, two layers of this. That is what the uh, can of red spray paint says. I mean, I think it, it looks pretty solid. We'll see how matched it is to the car because it looks a little bit darker, but who knows? Um, but yeah, we'll uh, throw this guy on. Okay, so clear coat has dried. It actually looks pretty good. I'm going to back the car up and kind of set it next to it, see how it looks in the sunlight. I think that's pretty similar actually. Yeah, that's not bad. So I'll give you guys a closer look. Um, maybe we'll be able to kind of see it through camera. So it's, this is a little bit darker. The actual lip is a little bit darker, but it's not noticeable enough, I think, from far away. The one thing that is noticeable is that, you know, when you look at this, it's smooth. There's no real indication of like grain in it, I guess. Um, whereas when you look at it, the lip, you can kind of see along that light right there. You can tell that it's a little bit grainy. Whereas this is just completely smooth. But yeah, overall, like that's uh, that's not bad at all. That looks pretty solid. Yeah, not bad, especially on camera. It looks really good. All right, so I'm going to let this just continue drying for another couple hours, and then I'll throw it on the car. If you're wondering how I'm going to fasten it, I am using some double-sided tape to kind of seal the top of the lip, and then I'm just using a bunch of self-tapping screws, just random sizes, um, just throwing them in there. Uh, but yeah. All right, so uh, let's go take it to a spot and I'll get some shots. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. I think it looks fantastic. I'm really happy with how it came out. For my first paint job, I actually think I did an okay job. It's a little bit off if you look really, really closely, but if you don't, and you're just like walking by, it looks basically the same, which is great. Um, that's basically it. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any questions. If you're interested in the Kansas spray paint that I used, I'll put them in the description. There's an Amazon link. But yeah, anyway, thank you for watching and have a good one.